The woman you're about to meet can't walk, but she can abseil, climb and trek in conditions that most would consider treacherous. Bree Manley takes her adventures very seriously and her love of life makes it easy to see why she's often called an inspiration. Maggie Rayworth met her. Crawling through thick mud, <laughs> hiking rough terrain and dangling from cliffs. <laughs> Extreme sports certainly require determination and grit. Wait. This is Brie Manley. With more courage than fear, there isn't a challenge she turns down. There's always going to be something on your goal list or your bucket list. But there's a twist. The 35-year-old from Point Lonsdale isn't the average adventurer. Brie was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when she was just 19. My whole world's been flipped upside down. It was a bit of a punch in the gut. MS is a chronic illness that affects the central nervous system. It means Bree's body may eventually stop functioning, but she's resilient. This is the muddiest I've ever been. And if there's a will, Bree is proving there's a way. If I lose my right leg, then I'll just use my left one. If I lose my arm, I'll just use the other one and my leg. She grasped life well before her diagnosis. Now her goal is to see as many waterfalls in the Otways as possible. That's my go-to place. I love it. It's just somewhere I can go to, to breathe and just, you know, be at one with nature and just sort of, it's like a reset place. What Brie calls a reset, many would describe as terrifying. This isn't easy for anyone, including Brie. When the weather's too warm, she loses feeling in her body and her condition means she needs a lot of equipment. It looks like we're going camping for two weeks because we've got to have everything. Brie doesn't always have good days. She admits she sometimes thinks about what life would be like without a disability. You have a good cry, let it all go, let it all out, and then you pick yourself up and What's next? Stuff quite often will change in your life and they have to adapt. You would get out of the house every day, wouldn't you? I try to, yeah. Yeah. And if I don't, I'm still trying to do something every day. But there's plenty more Brie wants to tick off the list. She has plans to surf a tube, go canyoning and to climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And after meeting Brie, there's little doubt she'll achieve those goals. By her side, her family. Husband Lachlan says the past 10 years with Bree have been the best of his life. I've seen some of what she go through, goes through to in these abseiling and, and even out in the surf. It's pretty hard for her and she's just so determined and, and it's what inspires me. And just like mountains, she's conquering motherhood too. Her sons, Jaden and Daniel. Hi, <laughs> Daniel. And this adventurer isn't stopping anytime soon. I've still got some pretty crazy stuff to do yet. Uh, I'm not finished and I probably won't ever be finished. Maggie Rayworth, Nine News. One.